Hi, Doc. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, I see that the troops are all here. Yeah, I don't leave home without them. <laughs> we came by to see Derek. Is now a good time? Yeah, as good as any. Things not going well? Uh, that's an understatement. He's uh, refusing to cooperate. What well, exactly does that mean? Well, he could uh, lose a chance for full recovery. I've told him that the swelling in his spine is just temporary. There's a good chance that things are going to get better. He's but... refusing therapy? Yep. He thinks I'm stringing him along. Oh, that's terrible. You know, the ironic thing is his prognosis is really very good if he starts therapy now. But what if he doesn't? The muscles could atrophy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's, uh, let's go have a talk with him. Very excellent idea. Yes. Derek. 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 All right. Stay here. Ted! Can you help me get him out? Now, don't try to talk me out of it, you know, because I intend to sue this place. I'll probably take this joint for a few million. I can bask in the sun somewhere. Hey, South Pacific sounds pretty good. No, I really wish that you hadn't done this. A man has got to have his exercise. I figured you health care people should be hit to that. You have to be careful doing things like that. You could have seriously injured yourself. As if I'm not already. Come on, get a new song. You can get better, Derek, but it's up to you to try. Will you cut the bull, Dr. Feelgood? Right. I am never going to get any right. better. I think the doc has had enough. It's okay. Joey, um, can you help me with Thompson, please? Yeah. Thanks. Where do you think you were going? What were you doing? Pretending I was part of the real world, I guess. <laughs> Didn't work. Berniker came to see me. Yeah. Since you guys were, were tearing the country apart trying to find a nutcase to put me in here. They're going to get Billy Clyde. Don't you worry. He'll be doing time in no time. It ought to be my collar. I should be the one. It should be me, Dylan. But no, everybody else is chasing that slime that put me in here that shot me. And I'm just lying in this bed like a dummy. Man, well, that's why I tried to get up and try to do something, Angie man. Angie says that the swelling that's causing your paralysis could go away. Oh, Trevor, come on. What kind of sucker would believe that? This kind of sucker, the one you're looking at right here, no, pal. it's true. Look, Look it, Angie it, says it's so, it's so, Derek. It's garbage. Yeah, well, you get rid of your garbage, you get into therapy, and you work through this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All I have to do is, like, click my heels and think of home, right? My little red shoes. Well, look, I am thinking, but nothing is happening. Why is that? Maybe because of all the commotion that's going on in my room. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Why don't you guys just leave me alone? Give me a break. I am tired. Just leave me alone. Derek, I just need a second, okay? So what, what, what's the scoop on Billy Clyde? No new developments. What? Our leads haven't been panning out. Not a zip. They're all dried out. Yeah, we've got to find this guy. Tell we'll me work. about it. We're working on it, pal. We're working on it. Derek, I just think that you are the bravest man that I've ever known. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. And I cannot thank you enough for saving my life in Tad's. Really, I mean, you, you're stepping in front of him the way you did. I was just doing my job. Well, we owe you our lives, and that's a big debt. Can't you let us... Do something? There's nothing you can do. Can't you let us tell you how much we care? How much we want to help you? Look, Dixie, it's sad. Well, let us... Let us do something for you. You know, let us help you get better. We love you. We really do. Look, Billy Clyde Tuggle belongs in hell for what he did to you. You sure didn't deserve that. Well, you don't deserve this, either. Yeah, well, what's done is done. Look, Dixie, I, I don't want you and Tad worrying about me. But you guys just live your lives. Get married, be happy, just forget about this. We can never forget about you, Derek. I'm kind of tired. Can you, can you, um, can you just leave me alone? Okay, sure. But I would really appreciate Please. it if you... Any luck? Ted, 
just doesn't want to be helped. Derek's got to get over this. He's darn tootin' he has to. It's gonna ruin his life. It's all my fault. Oh, shut your mouth. It's your he fault. He was shot while he was trying to shield me, Trev. So what's he got to look forward to? The being in a hospital or a bed or a, or a wheelchair the rest of his life? No wonder he resents me. He's a cop. Cops get shot. You know that when you join the force, there's no way he could resent you. But Ted, Trevor is right. You know, it's, it's Billy Clyde he hates, not you. He was just doing his job. That's right. And you know what he said to me? He just said that he, he wants to see us happy. That's yeah. what he said to me in the hospital room. Forget the guilt routine. It's not good for you, and it's not good for Derek. It just makes me furious. Tuggle. May the fleas of a thousand camels reside in his armpits. It's hardly just punishment. Personally, I'd like to boil him in toxic waste and peel his skin off. So... Oh, guys, that's really disgusting. You know, uh, I hate hearing you talk like just Tuggle. just gives us both inspiration, that's all. Well, why can't we just find him? Why can't he just be found? Dirt blends in. We gotta find something that's gonna bring him out. We gotta figure out what he'll go for. Hey, how about, how about we set up a super singing scam? You know, some big record producer wants Billy Clyde to handle Emily Ann's. He already burned out on that himself. I got it. We fake, we fake an emergency illness. For whom? Emily Ann. You know, life and death hanging on the edge of that whole thing. We make the papers put out front page pleas for, for the father to show himself. I think he'll go for that one. We already tried it at the cabin. It's not going to work. He'll smell a trap. I know you guys are absolutely just going around your elbows not to say the one surefire way that we'll get him. What's that? What are you talking about? Me. Use me, Spade. No, 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 no way. No how. Just... Don't even think about it. There is no way you're going anywhere near that guy while I'm still breathing. That's the no, only Dixie. way. No, listen to me. No, never, okay? Come on, Ted. He wants me. He will come out of hiding to get me. Which is precisely why you are going to stay invisible till this whole thing is over and he's either dead or locked up in prison for life. He's not going to let himself get locked up in prison yes, for life. Yes, he is. No, he is not. And those other ways are not going to work, Ted. We'll They're stupid. Him, they won't work. We'll catch him somehow. No, you yeah. won't. This will work, It will Ted. not work. Yes, it no. Will. You know it work. It'll work. Come on, he's obsessed about me. How many times has he called this place? He will call again, and when he does, I'll tell him, I'll tell him that, that I'm sorry, and that I just want to be friends again. He's crazy, not stupid. After everything that's happened, you don't think that's going to make him suspicious? No, I don't. I really, truly don't, because he wants to believe it. It's the one thing he wants more than anything else in this world is to be friends with me. Oh, Dixie, come on, don't do No, it. come on, look, when he calls, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say I'm sorry and that I, I want to be friends, like I said, and then, and then I'll set up a meeting, right? But then you and Trevor, you guys can, you can be there, and when he comes, you guys can, like, you can jump out and, and grab him. We can jump out and grab him, just like that. We can jump out and grab him. Bing, bang, zoom, we're back together. Everything is peachy keen, right? Right! Wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong. There is no way in a million years I'm letting go anywhere near that psychopath. I can't tell who's a bigger lunatic, you or him. Come on, Dix, be serious. I love you, honey. You're, you're, you're my wife. I can't afford to let anything happen. This guy is a murderer. But you guys will be there. You and Trevor will be there. Nothing will happen. Something always happens. Don't you understand? Don't you get it? Something always screws up. No, it's too dangerous. And how else will we get him? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll, we'll come up with something, right? What, well, then what do we do in the meantime? We just put our lives on hold? We just hang out? No, I don't think so. That's not what I want to do. This is right. This is a good plan, and it will get Billy Clyde, and I say we do it. I say no way. I say we don't do it. I say right. I, I say we do it. What? I say we do it. It's a good plan, it's a simple plan, and furthermore, it's the only one we've got. We keep letting this character have the, all of this time. He's going to keep planning, he's going to keep moving, he's going to keep dancing around. And like Dick says, he could haunt you for the rest of your life. Is that what you want? I don't believe this. Tad, you're forgetting I don't something. Believe... You're forgetting something. We're going to be there, we will protect her. Come on, Tad, please say yes. It'll be over. We can live our lives. Please, Tad, please say yes. All right.
right. But I don't like it. I'll just say, you know, we, we're just going to be friends again, right? Just, just... You don't say anything more than you need to say. I, I'll be careful, really. See if he calls again. He will call again. This is nuts. This is so crazy. I mean, the guy almost kills all of us. We're going back again. Well, I... You have to stop him, you know. I know, I know. I just don't like the idea of you having anything to do with him. I just want you to be safe. I know. Well. From here on out, we are partners in all things, okay? Equals in every way. Okay. Be no more instructions about how to live your life or orders and what to do with your family. From here on out, you, you think and feel and do and say what you want to whom you want, when you want. I love you, too. <laughs> Very much. Uh, Why don't you leave? <laughs> <laughs> no way, pal. I'm here for the duration. Why? Tuggle calls. I gotta be here. Oh, no, you're not. What are you saying? We're going to sit here all night and watch the phone? Hey, we'll have fun. We'll have a lot you're of fun. You're damn right. We are going to have fun. What are you going to do? Oh, come on. We could... I mean, we could... We could eat. And, and, and it's been troubling my conscience, you know, quite a bit. Guys? Mm-hmm. So, I, I, I was thinking, I've been so mean to you, and I really shouldn't have been, you know, when all you wanted to be was my friend. Yes, you're... You're a very special friend. I'm not the damn I call to you. Yes, yes, Dixie Bird, you have. I've never wanted anything but to want to be your friend. Oh, well, good. That's that's good. You know, I'd, I'd like to try and, 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 and fix everything and, and start over. <laughs> oh, well, I would so like to start anew. Oh, great. Well, you know, we have a lot of things, though, that we have to, to settle first. You know, uh, we need to talk. Well, I'm listening. No, I'm not thinking over the phone. I'm thinking face to face, you know. I mean, I need to talk face to face. Could we meet somewhere? Oh, well, I, I don't know about that, honey. I, no, I don't think that's such a good idea. But, but you could pick the place. You know, you could pick the place any anywhere you want, right? Um, any place at all. I would meet you there. It would make me feel better. It would ease my conscience. I, I don't know. Oh, come on now. You know, I could see you. We could meet and we could talk it over. It'd be so good for us both, Billy. Come on, please. You got him stuck to all my money. <laughs> you're gonna live with this for the rest of your life? You're gonna be poor. Card shark. Oh, come on. Such sore losers I've never seen. Hello? Well, hello. Just my sweet Dixie Bird. Is that you, Billy Clyde? I'm so glad you called. You are? Yeah. I I've been thinking about you a, a lot. You know how I've been so hard on you. <laughs> like, like to break my heart? Yeah. And, and, and it's been troubling my conscience, you know, quite a bit. Guys? Mm-hmm. So, I, I, I was thinking, I've been so mean to you, and I really shouldn't have been, you know, when all you wanted to be was my friend. Yes, you're... You're a very special friend. I'm damn right cruel to you. Yes, yes, Dixie Bird, you have. I've never wanted anything but to want to be your friend. Oh, well, good. That's that's good. You know, I'd, I'd like to try and, 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 and fix everything and, and start over. <laughs> oh, well, I would so like to start anew. Oh, great. Well, you know, we have a lot of things, though, that we have to, to settle first. You know, uh, we need to talk. Well, I'm listening. No, I'm not thinking over the phone. I'm thinking face to face, you know. I mean, I need to talk face to face. Could we meet somewhere? Well, I, I, I don't know about that, honey. I, no, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. But, but you could pick the place. You know, you could pick the place any anywhere you want, right? Um, any place at all. I would meet you there. It would make me feel better. It would ease my conscience. I, I don't know. Oh, come on now. You know, I could see you. We could meet and we could talk it over. It'd be so good for us both, Billy. Come on, please. Just say yes. Yes, Dixie Bird, you have. Well, so I was thinking, I, I'd like to 
be so good for us both, Billy. Come on, please. Please, Billy. Just say yes. Mm.